I feel her tickling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we live. Hi, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Flawed and Free, our Galentine's Day special. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I have my special guest. She ain't really a guest, honey. This is her home. <laughs> but we are coming here, yeah. come and chat with you guys, have some girl chat, and share some things today. Say happy Valentine's Day to Yay. all of the singles, all of the married couples. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, happy Day. Galentine's Day. Happy Galentine's Day. Happy so, Galentine's Day. Hello to TikTok land. Hello to Facebook land. Hello to YouTube land. Hey. All of you guys. Hello. <laughs> hello. Good evening, Miss Lenore. Good evening, Prophetess. Happy Hi. lovely day. Felicia Holly. Hey, Felicia. <laughs> Glory be Hi, to God. Holly. Glory be to God. Thank you all for joining today. We're going to be taking communion um, this evening before we close out. So please make sure you get your wine, your bread. If you don't have official communion cups like we have here today, that's okay. Um, you can just get you some grape juice or whatever juice you got. That'll work. Or And, and some bread or some crackers if you have saltine crackers or Whatever kind of crackers you got, Ritz, yep. it uh, works. whatever, it all <laughs> works. Okay. So, yeah, some of you may or may not know my spiritual daughter, uh, Alexis Dominique. This is my baby. Hey, <laughs> and so, Alexis, um, I'll let her share a little bit about herself. And she's the executive assistant of Flawed and Free. And she shares and wears a lot of hats here. Okay. So, <laughs> she does a lot. She's the gatekeeper. Keeper. She's <laughs> so many things. A lot of you that have gone through deliverance here, um, you probably have spoken with her at some mm -hmm. point or reached out for some help or assistance in some way, shape, fashion, or form. Now you got a face. Yes, now a real pretty one at that. <laughs> a a real you. pretty one at that, um, that um, you have now can put a face to the conversation that you may have had. So yeah. Go ahead and tell them who you is so, and who hey, you be. Hey, hey. So I'm Alexis. As Apostle Mom has said, I am the executive assistant at Flawed and Free. I'm her armor bearer. I'm her spiritual daughter. Um, yeah, I'm just all of those things. I also, uh, I don't know what which I want to know about it, but I got a degree in PR. So I kind of do a little PR work. I'm a, um, hey, man. I have a evolving style agency called Modest Maven. So I'm a stylist. I love to help the face feel fly girls look good and feel good about themselves. So yeah. We gotta stay fly in yes, these streets. We do, we do. Yes. We slay demons and you know these fits in Jesus' name. So <laughs> yeah. So that's a little bit about me. So you guys, you come on now. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this broadcast with the single ladies. Oh yes. the single ladies. All the single ladies. We, we don't support. We don't support the single though. But no. We just gonna sing a little song. Right, right, right. <laughs> that part. That part. Yes. Um, but if you know someone that's that's on, um, that wants to join us tonight, we're gonna have a little girl chat and stuff. Hi. Hi, Bradford. Yes. Hi, thank you Hi. for sharing. Thank yes. you for sharing and thank you for joining. And so we're not exempting the guys. You guys can come on here. It says Galentine. So yeah. it's it's for it's for the girls, but um, we don't mind. We don't mind sharing with the boys. So we, yes. we yeah, we're gonna have a good time tonight. It just we're just kind of laid back here mm -hmm. tonight. I got on my pajamas. Yes. And so you know, I got on it's it's similar <laughs> to pajamas. I know it may not look like it, but you know, it's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glory be to God. And so we're going to make some declarations of yes. love tonight yeah. um, and decree some things as the Holy Spirit leads us mm -hmm. tonight. And then we're just going to kind of chat up and chat, chat it up a bit and talk about um, some of the things we're expecting from God. Um, talk about our love for God. Yes. Right. Right. So he's our first love. And so we want to give honor to the Lord. We want to give honor to him um, for who he is and what he's done for us as the bridegroom th that he yeah. is. And so we want to give honor. We want to give our love to the father first. Mm -hmm. And then we can talk about preparing for 
what's coming. Yes. We're preparing for what's coming. And that's the, the, the men and or woman of God, if you're a woman yes. that's watching um, or a man mm -hmm. that's seeking to find their queen, that is looking to be found and crowned for the women of God that mm -hmm. are wives in waiting. I am celebrating in advance. We're going to make a toast tonight. We're going to yes. celebrate a bit tonight <laughs> for what God has said. And mm -hmm. as we declare and decree some things over our lives for the year, we're just going to thank him in advance. And so when we get to popping the bubbly, I'm here to tell <laughs> it ain't real. Yes. Okay. It's not real. Yes. It, <laughs> it's it's the, it's the, it's the apple cider rosé, yes. right? Some Welch's. It's some Welch's. Yes, okay. It's Welch's. juice. <laughs> it's juice y'all. It's juice. I it's promise juice. you. Um, and so I don't, drink she doesn't drink mm -hmm. um but we gonna we gonna pop a little mini bottle for yes. jesus we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna pop a bottle for and jesus and we're gonna celebrate with him after we take communion so for those of you that have come on a little bit late um make sure you have your communion close and ready when we get there yes tanisha essence Hi. hello gang gang that's that's the flawed and free gang gang yes. um that has come on tonight i know everybody's booed up tonight mm -hmm. there's a lot of a lot of the saints are having lives and and things going on tonight so make sure y'all stay saved make sure y'all stay saved in these streets tonight mm -hmm. don't let the enemy get you for those that are dating and waiting and boot up tonight don't don't get caught up don't keep get it holy keep it holy keep, keep it, it holy. holy do not get caught up yes. out in these streets okay yes. so please seek the holy spirit let mm -hmm. him guide you let him lead you and let's stay saved okay <laughs> keep waiting keep waiting until you get a part of the the left hand gang for, for real, real for real, real. <laughs> like, for, real, for, real. for real for real so yes. i've already introduced baby girl here and I don't, you know, I don't really even have um have a have an agenda for tonight. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to kind of keep it open and really chill mm -hmm. and just let the Holy Spirit lead us okay. tonight with what we want to chat about. So I want to open up the chat right now before mm -hmm. I get started um, with some of the things that you guys might have on your mind and your heart tonight. Mm -hmm. What is on the heart and the minds of the people of God? Mm -hmm. For those that are joining us tonight, it may be a personal question for Lex or mm -hmm. even myself about dating or or being a wife and mm -hmm. waiting um, or just kind of how we're living this abstinent lifestyle. Yes. Um, that's a popular conversation mm -hmm. and topic to discuss. Um, it's one of my favorites. So I did plan on touching on that tonight mm -hmm. um, on the abstinence journey okay. and, and walking in fear of the Lord mm -hmm. and really being a living a pure and holy life, living a a pure and holy life before God as wives in waiting. So preferably everybody will raise their hands for those yes. that are single because if you're single, we shouldn't be shacking that nor should we be sleeping, mm -mm. right? With anything, but maybe a teddy bear or two. <laughs> yes. But at the end of the day, we are keeping our bodies um, um, holy before God mm -hmm. and waiting on the man of God that will, that will find us and crown us. And Glory be to God. I can tell you um, my abstinence journey did not start out easy, okay? It did not start out easy. So I don't know where some of you are on your journeys mm -hmm. as wives and waiting um, and preparing for your spouse for 2023. But um, it was a challenge for me as 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 um, there were sexual strongholds. Um, and hopefully I don't get flagged for that here on TikTok for saying that or anywhere. But there were strongholds very heavily, not only in my bloodline, but for me personally that I had to overcome and I had to go through a process. I had to really go through a process, but I had to first say yes to God. I had to first give God my yes. And people have asked me, like, you don't miss it and you're not worried. And it's some girl talk. So if the boys are on and, and you see me as a sister in the Lord and this mm -hmm. is bothering you, go ahead and log <laughs> out. Go on, log out. Because I don't know where this girl talk, this girl right. chat finna go. Right. 
But I can tell you that the journey, the abstinence journey has gotten easier with time. And so tell me how you ladies, how y'all doing out there? Y'all ain't out here taking cold showers and nothing like that. Are you please prayerfully you on fire for God, but not so much on fire when you got to be taking cold showers. So I want to talk a bit about um, how your abstinence journey is. How how is that working for Mm y'all? What are you doing um, in your time? time as a wife and waiting are you praying are you meditating on the word Mm -hmm. um and and these sort of things like what 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 give maybe give the girls some tips i'm looking i'm opening up the chat here i'm opening up the chat i want to hear from you lexus what what it give give share some of your tips and as you're a little younger than i am Mm -hmm. so you know so I, I'm able okay. to maybe tame the lion a yeah, little bit because yeah. <laughs> I had a little bit more time to maybe do a turn or two. Yeah. Um, now I wasn't turning no tricks. So don't be out, <laughs> don't be out here telling the same right, stuff. Right, Ronald right. Free was talking about turning tricks. That ain't what I said. That ain't what I said. I said I had a few Ooh, more years for a turn strong. or two. So Jeez. seven and a half years strong, but praying it in suit. Glory, glory I'll to God. Glory. So touching the green. Yes, we touching in the green. I'm gonna tell you, sis, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm mm-hmm. not far from you. I am I'm right there with you, Tanisha. And it will end soon. Thank it you, will. Man. I declare it this day. I'm gonna add it to our declarations for tonight Thank that you, this will be man. the last year. Thank this will be the man. last year in Thank the name of Jesus. Know, that <laughs> <laughs> so as as a as a young woman. Um, because when I was in my twenties, mm-hmm. I was still twirling. I was still a baton, that is. Lord and I was, mercy. you know, I was <laughs> I, twirling, y'all. I was still twirling. I was still with a tutu and all, right? <laughs> and that's just what it was. I'm just being 100. I'm keeping mm-hmm. it real with you. I don't really have anything to hide, but I could not m- imagine. Um, I can't imagine. I wish I was, but you know, I was in the height of my foolery mm-hmm. in my twenties, and so watching um, Alexis and some of my other spiritual daughters that are in um, in this age group that are that are walking a holy life before God, and I think you know they want to hear from you. I think it's yeah. easier for them to hear my journey, my story, because mm-hmm. it's like, okay, it was time for you to sit down, <laughs> right? But. <laughs> But as a young woman in their tour, what is your take on Mm -hmm. the abstinence walking journey for those that are listening? Yeah, so I can say for me, when I first got serious with my walk with God, I, of course, struggled. You know, I definitely have had, you know, my moments where I was like, ooh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh, the flesh, the ooh. Flesh yeah. is a little weak right now. Yeah. But so, you know, I had to kind of really push through that. But once I got really serious with God, it was like a non-negotiable for me. And I was, I haven't really dated seriously, like in a, a real relationship since maybe 2020. And so since then, it's been a little easier because I haven't had nobody, you know, on my phone calling me like. Right, right. that slick talk. I haven't had those experiences. And so it's been really easy, I say, because I haven't really been put in a line of fire where I really had to, you know, really put my faith. And, you know, my um, obedience to God to the test. So, um, and, you know, we were, you talking, will be tested. Right, we was even talking earlier how it's real easy to be uh, all abstinent when you're single, when you're not talking to nobody, when you're not dating. But once you start dating, once, you, you know, you start having dates, like, you know, you had to really put those strict boundaries in place. That's when the obedience get really put to the test then. And so I'm definitely looking forward to the Lord carrying me through my season once I do start dating. But right now, I can just say, y'all. It's a little easy because I haven't really put to the test. I ain't really been put to the test. But even when I was, you know, still dating and things, I did have my boundaries. Yeah. Though, you know, I was still a babe, you know, I was still Set on my boundaries. journey. I was still on my journey, but it was really hard sometimes when I was still young in Christ. And I really didn't understand the spiritual ramifications. I didn't understand, like, you know, what happened when I, like, formed that type of covenant with somebody through sex and stuff like that. And so... Once the Lord really showed me, once I really uh, gave him a fresh yes, I was like, oh, ain't no way on this side of saved. I'm going to even put myself in that situation. It, it's not no, worth it. It's, it's not really worth not it. worth it. And so it's I not. desire, you know, to not defile my marriage bed even before stepping into the marriage. Just Come because, on you know, now. he says this is a man of God that I'm approving for you. I don't want to mess that up just because I'm like, oh, we're we going to get married. So let's just go. No, let's not just go ahead and do nothing. And so until we go to that courthouse, until we get those papers signed, it's a no for me. But I'm looking forward to seeing how it's really going to be, you know, because I know that temptation is going to be there, you know, but 
thank God he gives us a way out every time the temptation does come. So this is the word of God say. So I'm standing on the word. Yeah. You know, I'm standing yeah. on the word. He's yeah. going to give us a way out. So yeah. I don't believe I'll put myself in that yeah. space, especially not where I am now in my walk with Christ. But, you know, we're still human. We still have flesh. But yeah. I still believe I will take that way of escape, even if, you know, it happens. But sex really wasn't a stronghold for me. So it wasn't that hard to give up, you know, though it was a thing, you know, right. it was something I did. But it definitely wasn't um, a stronghold. So once God told me to give it up, I was like, I mean, OK, like okay. I really don't got nobody to do it with. So, OK, <laughs> so it wasn't that hard. Um, but, it, of course, I was still uh evolving woman i yeah. had my you know moments where i never had to take a cold shower so you know yeah i never did me either. something different with that one but you know i understand that everybody's body is different and so yeah boundaries is important boundaries, boundaries is definitely important um and continuing your abstinence journey mm -hmm. as you or a wife in waiting, or even if you are mating and dating, mm -hmm. and however, however you want to, you know, slice that thing up, yeah. right? Whatever, whatever title you're giving your situation, preferably mm -hmm. it's not a situationship. Please. That if you are entertaining or giving your time or investing your time in someone or allowing someone to take your time mm -hmm. um, and grab your ear, that they are being intentional and purposeful. Yes. If you are a woman that's looking and seeking, desiring to be married, and so. So we don't do placeholders. Mm -mm. Um, we don't do, you know, let me think about it. Let me see if you the one. Let me mm -hmm. let me try to figure out. And I'm not saying discern. I'm not saying don't open the door for conversation, mm -hmm. um, you know, and a prayer first. Right. Pray yeah. first. I mean, yeah. and then begin to discern and seek if there's any compatibility. Mm -hmm. But and then, you know, come to a mutual agreement. There right. must be some mutual agreement that not only are we moving in the same direction, mm -hmm. but we want some of the same things yeah. um and not just be looking to to have a wedding but really be married yeah. what does that look like for mm -hmm. us what could that look like for us what are the expectations and so that one of the expectations from god the bridegroom mm -hmm. is for us to keep our bodies and our temples holy mm -hmm. and to not um be involved in any sexual immorality or fornication and so when you meet someone you must make clear not only set boundaries but make them clear make mm -hmm. sure that they're not they're not fuzzy like yeah. it's not you're saying this one day and then mm -hmm. you know the, the next day you feeling like well maybe i should give in a little bit because yeah. he seems like you know he's not all the way on board right. and he seems like a man of god that i really like and so i don't want to seem too rigid i don't want right, to seem right. too religious mm -hmm. i don't want to seem like i'm not willing to be in because at the end of the day you ain't willing to be OK, you ain't willing to bend. No and so really just really be solid mm -hmm. on what God has said and wait until you see what he said. Yeah. And, and conflicts are going to come. They're going to yeah. come yeah. and distractions yeah. are going to come. Yeah. Right. Where it look like it might be, you might be this, you know, the enemy might be trying to deceive you mm -hmm. about a person or a situation and it's close, but you know, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to settle for what's close, but not really what God intended. Mm -hmm. That's in accordance to the desires right. of your heart or the, or the, even the will of God. Right. So, you know, really setting boundaries for me, boundary setting is basically making my stance up front early. Mm -hmm. So before we even get into multiple conversations or tests i'm saying listen I, i'm a woman of valor i i am a you know you you gonna have to no no you know let's let's refrain from some of the late night conversations because mm -hmm. things start to turn sometimes after a certain time yeah. of night you know you start feeling a little risque <laughs> little frisky you mm -hmm. know conversation so you know as the world would call demon right. time don't be on the phone during demon time. Don't be on the phone 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. right? Don't, you know, so so allow the man of God or whoever is trying to seek you out to really follow some of the standards mm -hmm. that you set yeah. to, 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 to place and, and make those boundaries. So, right. you know, and it might not just be with calling. It might mm -hmm. just be just within your own body, within mm -hmm. your own self, just certain things that you're just not going to do, right? right. So I know we talked about kissing before yes. and stuff like What's that. What's y'all thoughts on that? Y'all gonna kiss? Are while you gonna? Are, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, are y'all gonna kiss? Like you know, a little smooch here, smooch there, while you are dating, or are you gonna like reserve that for your wedding day? 
Me personally, I'm still like, I don't know. Cause like, I want to wait. I'm going to be honest. I do want to wait until my wedding day because I feel like it'll be special. It'll be really, you know, a special moment between me and my husband. But I understand too, Alexis in the flesh likes two kids. So I like, you know, a little, little peck here, a little peck there. So it's like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't dated it so long, y'all. Right. I, we want to hear so. T- Tanisha says she's team kissing. Okay. okay. I, I want to. Okay. You. Um, you team who kissing. On, okay. Who on TikTok? Are you team kissing or no kissing? Okay. Are you waiting until the day you marry to kiss? Okay. Um. Your 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 man your your, your man your partner your yeah. your your husband or are you open to kissing before marriage? Are you open to yeah. kissing before marriage? I feel you, Tanisha. You oh, said your physical, physical touch, touch is your love, love language. language. Okay. So that makes sense. That makes sense for me. I know that when you if you start doing a little too much with kissing, we and now we sin it, and I'm not trying to sin. I'm not trying to <laughs> sin. Like I was, I rather re- refrain from that. You know, from kissing though, it's something that I like. I rather refrain from it if it's going to lead me. If it's going to be like that temptation, it's going to lead me. You know. Yeah. So I agree. I I, mm-hmm. I agree. I I actually carry and share the same stance that Alexis has on kissing. Um, but I also don't know. Like I'm not a hundred percent on 100%. if I'm gonna give in. And and because I I mean I love kissing. Like right. I really do. And and you know without you know TMI y'all. <laughs> like without that, I just really do. Yeah. But kissing is a very intimate act. It kissing is. can actually be more intimate than. And actual physical relations mm-hmm. than actual intimacy or intercourse you know mm-hmm. it can be and it can be a precursor a precursor you know oh, to definitely. foreplay and all the sorts of things and so at the end of the day there's no need to get my flesh riled up for mm-hmm. something that ain't finna go down it's right no that ain't even so now now i'm over here trying to figure out how to take a cold shower because i ain't never had to take <laughs> one before and so i don't you know that just can't be my portion and i i, I mean i'm at this point i do i mean i i have a lot of self-control right, i right, really right. have yeah. um but a good portion of my time and and singleness and my single season has not been dating i, right. I have not really right. been open to really much dating and and all those sort of things but it like for tanisha for someone who physical touch is their love language mm-hmm. how do you still touch without touching right like how do you how much how far is too far so i, I see over here in tiktok land we got team kissing so we got a couple of kisses here let's see shanae said i don't know uh i don't know now kissing might lead me to some roles i don't want to be on listen i i think i'm kind of feeling you shanae on that i, I don't know if i want to touch that stove what about kiss like a forehead kiss Okay, I like forehead I kisses. I like forehead kisses. I love forehead I do kisses. Too. I do too. So. They're very sweet. They're, and it's yeah. far enough. I think it's right. enough distance right, right. from from the mouth yeah. where you can still feel that like love. Right, that a, embrace. You know? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Or what about a cheek? Is a cheek too I'm close? About, I was going to say maybe a cheek. Like, you know how but you know what? Maybe no cheek. No maybe cheek. no cheek because, you know, cheeks kind of travel. They do. That- <laughs> the head gets <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. I don't know. I think the I think the forehead is safer. Forehead I think the forehead safer. is a little bit safer, unless you're coming down the nose, right? Right, which, which you know could be possible. Come on, please don't come down the nose. <laughs> <Please> stay here. <laughs> Tanisha said forehead kisses are my favorite. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Forehead kisses to me sometimes are even more like special and make me feel all warm and fussy than like a, a mouth-to-mouth kiss forehead kisses are so sweet to me i yes. love them i love them so. yes note to self y'all men's if y'all want to kiss us maybe <laughs> Let, let me not let me not let me not boost the boost the boys boost the, let, yeah. let me not give them because been messing around and got slapped <laughs> for somebody getting trying to kiss so make sure you right. got some mutual consent and yeah. and on um, whatever this kiss look like but right, it, right. i think it's probably not a bad alternative yeah. if you're one that's one for physical touch or you're mm-hmm. one that's like oh you know i'm team kissing but mm-hmm. i don't want to get too like you know, I'm like kissing with no tongue, like yeah. just kissing that. Now that's probably taking it too far. Yeah. That probably is a real setup. In your mouth, and it's, that's probably you need to go re- repent. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, or you need that grandma kiss that, <laughs> <laughs> that side kiss. Yeah, like, like, yeah. <laughs> that side, like, hey, that hey. side kiss. Like. <laughs> 
that side yeah, kiss. Well, maybe it's not really too much mouth. Man, it's not a lot of mouth. Yeah, it's like a little, you know, like maybe maybe that's safer. But yeah, forehead kisses, I like it. So I see we got ten kisses, forehead. So everybody seems like they're in consensus. Like okay. Hey, if you're gonna kiss, do a forehead kiss. We yeah. down for that. That's a little it's safe. It's safe. It's a saved and sanctified kiss. Yes. Cool. We can yes. walk, we can walk that out. Yes. Forehead kisses in. Yes. So physical touch, though. So, how do you incorporate a love language like physical touch? I want to hear from y'all because I want to hear to be honest listen. with you. I mean, that's not my love language. Yeah. Mine is um quality time mm -hmm. and words of affirmation. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember what my third Forget one was. Mine. I can't remember what my th I'm gonna have to go back I and look it up. Physical touch. I don't know where that was on my. I don't know if that was mine. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, can't remember that the third one. It's got me thinking now. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go back and check yeah, it out. I but for I those will. of you that do have physical touch, how do you do that yeah. appropriately? On this side of say, if there's one thing to do it in the world, you can do what you want to do if you want to worry. But if you're on this side of say, what are you doing? I don't know. Like uh, holding hands, maybe. Okay, I holding think. hands is good. Yeah. Holding hands. I think I saw Essence say, "Hold my hand, boo," or something like that. Oh, she so. said, "Hold my hand." Okay, yeah. I like holding hands. Holding hands is real safe. I don't think it's gonna give you. I don't think it's gonna really have you over here <laughs> like you know about to go crazy over somebody holding your hand. Yeah. She said, "My baby, better hold my hand." Like it's a <laughs> lifeline for real. Okay. Period. Yeah. You're having to play with your man. Yeah. So what kind of hand holding you doing? What kind of is it like? like is it like a handshake? Like, like like the handshake, or, or is it like the whole inner line? Can I stroke his beard? Yeah. <laughs> Can you stroke his beard? I, you know what? You know, a little bit of beard massage, a little, you know, I feel like that's not bad, you know? Mm, scalp massages. Scalp massage. Scalp massage. I don't know. Uh, or maybe like feet massage. No, that's bad. Don't no, okay. massage my feet. No, no. Not bad. no. <laughs> well, my feet may be okay. For some, it depends on who you are. Know yeah. your limits, sis. Know your limit, because I know some people who Our feet you people. touch their feet it's, and it's on and popping. Yeah. So. It's on and popping. The feet don't. Like yeah. they said, no, no massages at all. No, okay. okay, no, no. Okay, so definitely no, no back massages. No back massages. Don't even, I'm not even. Mm -mm. Yeah, because you got to kind of go mm -mm. down in the spine and into yeah. the into the waist area yeah, and no. all of that sort of thing. So pay for me to go to massage envy or something if you want me to get a massage, but don't do it yourself. Okay, please. yeah. No, no physical, no physical massage. But not even like a foot massage. She said, like I know my limit. She said, I love scalp massages. Me too. Yeah, especially now since I've been wearing my real hair. I was about to say, because since I gotta pull the wig off for, for the scalp <laughs> massage. <laughs> Baby, listen, he can rub his head through my through my set it off braid. <laughs> <laughs> you can breeze your scalp, you know. You know, I mean, hey. But like, what do you do, like, for physical touch? Especially, I think I want to know because we my, know the whole thing. If my man, if his love language is physical touch, I may be looking at him a little crazy because I'm like, I don't. I don't know how to touch you without touching you. So what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh, Jesus. What do, I do? do I just rub your hand, like? What do I do? The beard thing. I'm a beard girl, though. I'm a beard girl. I'm too. a beard girl. Because mm. so. if I rub on your beard, I'm probably going to want to kiss on it. I'm probably, <laughs> probably going to want to get a little closer. Yes. Just be like, I'm going to be holding your beard right. from, from, a, from a distance. Hugs. I like hugs. I hugs, love hugs. Yeah. Hugs are cool. <clears throat> so how long for the hug? Wait, Tanisha. Said, How long for the hugs? She said, "I love a good cuddle." But once we start kissing, she said, "Not to set this guy said not to set it off, very Yes, baby. Private, yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, like she Cleo. said, two seconds. So we only get the hug for two seconds, One baby. Second. Ain't ain't nothing. Yo, 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 yo. Just like I love kisses, ain't nothing like one of them good hugs. Long the long hug. Like that, like you know the the long like that, the, that 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 like that, that bear hug, baby, that sealy hug, like that you know, like we can't part, like color purple, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah like oh my god, that that yeah. that initial like embrace, the and embrace. then you kind of like, yeah. <laughs> you know, before you pull yeah, back, that's like, that that's that's that them long yeah, hugs nice. be the best them. So exactly. So you start melting together. Yes. Not 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 the church hug. Not the like side hug. Yes. Not the church. Because to me, that's still awkward. Like if you're dating a person, you really like them to still be doing the church hug. 
Like I do church hugs with my brothers in Christ. Like I do church hugs with them. I'm not like church it's hug. like I'm not that gonna, side hug. You're not gonna do that. No, I need the a side hug. hug. I need a. I think that's safe though. But the front hug. That's, that's a lot a, going on. That's a lot going on. But if we're not kissing, that's still a form of intimacy without being intimate. So I feel like if we're not kissing, then a, a, a hug may not be that bad. Now, we're not going to hug for like, well. Not the long hug. I don't know. Because, I mean, what what's going to happen with the hug? Ain't nothing going to happen if the clothes on. We like outside. Now, we in the house trying to long hug. Then, all right, let me go. Get off me. But if we like outside, I'm going to go. You finna go. Right. I don't mind. Like, you know, hugging for like two, three minutes. <laughs> Whoever this soul of a man, he said, don't side hug me. Just give me a fist bump. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A fist bump. Oh, my God. And oh. then Jasmine said, baby, if you got on that Versace, oh, my Lord. Girl, I love a good smelling man. Me, too. Oh, my me God. Too. Should be smell good. I'm just going to. I can't hug them then because I'm just going to. You don't want to eat them. Yeah. I'm going to have to just get them. I'm just like, just that bad. Let me get myself together. Yeah. Yeah. You still going to smell them though. I am. Real good. But, oh, I love a good smelling man. That yeah. is like, you get five points for me. Yeah. I love that yeah. so much. And you should have picked me a hug. I was just different. See, I oh, ain't never been picked up. I don't know. We're a little thick. I'm a thick one. <laughs> I, you know, Tanisha, real petite and cute, honey. Baby, thick. they be lifting her up like, oh, uh, what is that notebook? Oh, like, yeah. she, she, I bet Tanisha get picked up like the notebook all the time. Yes. I, that can't, unless I get a line back or something. That boy finna be able to pick me up. <laughs> Yes, yeah, see, but said big, he can't pick up big booty. He can't pick up me, baby, because look, I'm thick. Okay, yeah, on my bone. So you got to be. A but if he one. work out though, if yeah. he work out though, you know that sometimes that'd be the test. That'd, that'd be, the be the test, test. right there. Like, can Let's you pick what me you're up? Really doing in the gym, like, <laughs> you how much squat. you been? You might have to squat when you pick me up. Like, <laughs> you might have to put your back into it. Yes, you can do real. it. Put your back into it. You can do it. Put your back into yes, it. Yes, <laughs> for real. We don't we don't want you hurting your back grunting and, and, and stuff like that. Please. Listen, I'm not trying to throw your back. Yeah, let me help you. I just kind of do the wrap around the neck and get on my tippy toes to make yeah, it look yeah, like yeah. I'm getting picked up. Yeah. So he could kind of grab you around the waist, kind of yeah. just like a, a little bitty like tippy toe. So will you let him grab you around your waist though? Cause that may be a little bit for yeah. me. I may be like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. what if he like you you know, he hit the waist and his arms start to kind of go down. Now he hit the booty. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Hopefully the man of God won't touch the booty. He'll just kind of lock around keep the waist. waist. Okay. okay. He'll just kind of lock at the waist If you keep at the waist, we'll be safe. But if you start trying to do too much and go to the booty, I'm like, mm. Yeah, no. That's probably <laughs> not the safest. It's getting dangerous now. That's probably. Dangerous prob game. But know your boundaries. Know the whole boundaries. the whole point of <laughs> this conversation is look, Doctor Maxwell. She says, "See, just hold hands, just <laughs> just hold hands, just uh, or even a hand kiss. That's yeah, nice. Like a hand kiss, hand kiss. Right. Hand kiss. Yeah. So just learn your boundaries. Yeah. Learn your triggers. Say it ain't your so beauty. Oh, it's man. your booty. I don't know, soul of a man it's is excited. <laughs> Oh my he god! He's excited with this conversation. He said, "Listen, it's a, it's a, it's, it's ain't your beauty. It's a, okay, all right." Uh, Danielle said, "I can't even do the waist, See, child." Danielle, I don't okay, like yeah, the waist don't really bother me too much. It don't um, bother me. I just don't want it to bother him when he get to. Yeah, that's you know, true. So don't do too much. She said, "If it's curvy, it's worth it's worth a hug. It's worthy of a hug." Mm. Listen, listen, listen. Point moral of the story <laughs> is know your, boundaries, know your boundaries, set limits, and know your triggers mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. So, you know, we just have a little girl chat, a little girl fun here tonight. If you're just coming on and watching, we are chatting it up for Valentine's Day and just sharing a little bit about some tips and tools and tricks um, as we are wives and waiting or even those that are actually dating in this phase. Mm -hmm. And those of us that are single with how we should proceed yeah. with the day. Home mm -hmm. as as the man of God, or as my daughter would the say, the man of God. God. So this is your time. Yes. Tell the people okay. 
what the difference is between a man of God and a man of God. A man of God. So, a man of, she's saying M A N N A. Yeah, M A N N A. Like man of God. And then man of God. So, I can't even take just like the credit for just like claiming this. I actually heard it from this YouTuber that I like. My okay. own sister Amber put me on to. Her name is Michelle Anna. And she was speaking about her recent um, relationship. And she has a, she said, this isn't a man of God. This is a man of God. And it's oh a my. And as soon as she said it, I was like, I know exactly what she's talking about. Because if you think about it, a man of God is like a man of God, like a brother in Christ. Somebody you see is like, okay, hey, man of God. Like, but we see somebody who was like, you know, he's your type. He's your type in Christ. He's, you know, moving in things of God. You feel, you know. <laughs> like the man from heaven, yes, you feel um just some something in your shundo, something in your spirit just calling you to him. Like, that's a man of God right there. That's a man of God. Like, I don't want him to be my brother in Christ. I want to be his woman. I want to be his wife. So that that's kind of just like the difference between a man of God and a man of God. Like, I want a man of God. Like, when I see my man, I want to look at him and be like, my lord. A it's, snap a snap and turla. Turla. it's a snap and it's, turla. Oh it's a snap and like, when i see him i want to be like my lord Listen. and so that's just the difference i don't want to i don't want him to give brother in christ vibes i don't want him to give you could be my father in the faith i don't want him to give you my cousin you my brother you my uncle in the faith i want him to give this is my man this is my man of God. This is this my, is my man of God. So that's kind of just like the difference. I, like I said, I can't even take the credit, take the uh, claim for even saying that. I heard it on yeah. my YouTube and I was like, that's girl, cool. I'm taking that. that I'm going to, because I know exactly what you mean though by saying it. So. Yes. Tanisha yes. said like that manna from heaven. Let's go. Yes. Come on, yes. like the fresh dew, honey. Hey. Where as you <laughs> arise, honey, you ain't even have to work for it, baby. For it, just it just showed up. Shows. Oh. It just show up mm -hmm. like what you mm -hmm. want. Here I am, and here I is, and My here Lord. we be. Now what? In now the name what? of Jesus, Jesus, what you name. finna do? What you finna do? And I'm a slick talking yes. sister. I'm gonna tell you here right now. <laughs> Listen, I see something I like. I gotta watch. I gotta tame this tongue of mine. Mm -hmm. I be like, Lord Jesus, it's a snapping turla. <laughs> it's a snapping turla. What yes. you got going on? What it do? What it do? My Lord. What it do? I have to catch myself. I'd be like, <laughs> sis, tame your tongue and, and, and tell your flesh to have a seat. Yes. Tell your flesh to have a seat because, baby, I could feel my flesh flaring. And I'd be like, oh, no, I know she's saved. But yes. listen here. I like I listen. I will close my eyes on the TV because I love me a nice little chocolate looking or at least medium brown pecan yes. skin, pecan skin. Just you little know, caramel, little mocha, mm, little you know, you know, little little salt and pepper beer. beer you know, I don't know. See, listen, what you talking about? See, and for me, I like the ways, but I'm either I'm like I like a ball or I like a wet lock. Mm. Bald or locks? Bald or locks? Uh, yeah, locks. Mm. But you know, I'm not gonna be like God if he don't got locks. He ain't my man of God. But if God were to send me a man that has some locks, I'll be very happy. I'm not, you know, for me, I'm not real big on the hair really? that too much. Nah, mm -hmm. I don't really, I'm not that. Like, it could be just cut. It mm -hmm. could be just waved. It could be, mm -hmm. but just be well-groomed. Yes. Just, oh, you gotta be, just well -groomed. be well groomed. Like, it don't have to be like, I know men have their preferences. Like, they right, like right, natural. Right. They like mm -hmm. weed. They don't, well, they don't like weed. Funny, though, every time I've been cheated on, that you know, it was with what they said they didn't want. And I said, well, how in the world did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> how, how did this happen but anywho mm -hmm. um so definitely be comfortable in your own yes. skin with what you do and how you present yourself not just before the man of god mm -hmm. that was looking for you you know for yourself to be found but even as a modest maven as a as a beautiful <laughs> woman of god just mm -hmm. modestly you know cover yourself up Come listen up, don't be out here setting it out for the saints now i know you single mm -hmm. and i know you available <laughs> but don't be out 
out here on display, yeah. okay? Don't be out here. Put yourself in the curio, sis. Let him come look for you. Mm -hmm. Let him come find you. That's the whole pleasure of being found yeah. is that you are not on display for the entire world, yeah. right? So we don't we don't need the side shots, back shots, mm -hmm. booty shots, you know. And for me, like I, I'm 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 a little thick in the hip and a little thick in the you know around around the the, the bottom area, right? And I'm I, I'm a little you know I, I got a little something going on up top, and so for me it's kind of hard for me when I'm trying to you know kind of maybe post certain pics or something like that because men are men they're visuals right and so I gotta watch my clothing I have to watch you know how mm -hmm. I present myself not just for ministry purposes but I don't want to set myself out for anybody to stumble right. or be looking I got chest hanging right. out booty hanging out no, that would never be I wasn't doing that in the world for real but you know the little mid drifts mm -hmm. and the tight pants that show the prints oh, and mm -hmm. you know you, it, it needs cute. the shirt Keep needs to cute. be long it needs to be but you can still be cute and covered yeah you can still be in and yes. classy with it at the same time yes. and then you're wondering why you're attracting lustful men while you're attracting men that need deliverance because they looking for a Jezebel right. or they looking for somebody to play with mm -hmm. and you're not here to be played with so if you're not trying to be played with I highly suggest that you cover it up sis yes. cover yes. yes cute and covered what the Lord gave me I used to have a boutique if uh you don't know if y'all didn't know that I used to have a, a fashion boutique and what the Lord gave me for the vision of that boutique was to help people flaunt their femininity without exposing their treasure. So for women specifically, because we women. So yeah, to flaunt your femininity. So be nice looking, because of course we still want to look desirable. Like we don't want to look like we walk around here like, don't look at me, don't look at me. As women, we naturally want attention from men, but we want the right attention. That's we don't right. want these lustful eyes all on us. We don't want these men who just want to devour us looking at us. We want the yeah. man who God has yeah. called to look at us, to see us and want to, and want to be attractive. As mom always says, men are visual. So they're, they're going to want to see something that look good. And so what the Lord has like given me, um, you know, just kind of like the clearance to do is to help women be able to flaunt their femininity without exposure and their treasure. So still, you know, wear things that, kind of show off your shape but you're not like just busting out the seams you're not like in a bandage fit type dress where you see everything he know he know he know everything about you without being able to access you in that way so yes yes, <laughs> yes. yes. and so we know yes. we, let, just let me know y'all i can help get you right oh, now. for I can sure help get you right for sure in jesus name a lot of what you see me doing these days i mean i i do pretty decent dressing myself she does. She but I, I get lazy a little bit because <laughs> I, I don't know if lazy is the word. I'm really busy. Yeah. I'm really, really busy. And so my baby girl step in mm -hmm. for things that I have to do. So it's yeah. one thing I don't have to think about with how to to, um, you know, dress right. for, you know, because she knows what I like and mm -hmm. she'll be like, so what are you wearing to this? And yeah. how are you wearing your hair? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and this and that. And I'll be like, I ain't thought about it. Mm -hmm. And so she'll just kind of jump in and be like, I think you should, yeah, yeah. you know, do this. And she does it very quick. It comes very quick and easy to her. Mm -hmm. Whereas me, even though I do a decent she do job, a good job, she don't just do decent, y'all. She be I be like, you don't need me for real, but I understand. Like, just I got a little yeah, style. Yeah, yeah. I got a little style. Listen, she got a lot of style, y'all. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> don't let her fool you. She be putting something. I'm like, you were cute. Yeah, I didn't even do that. You <laughs> were cute. So I've been doing it long time, long yeah, time, yeah, me yeah. long time, me long time. <laughs> but I understand too how, like, you know, it's just easier. Just one less thing you have to worry about because. Sometimes we as women, of course, we'd be like, oh, my gosh, like, I don't know what I'm going to wear. And if we don't know what we're going to wear, just like just our mind be going every other place and where it needs to go. And I need her to stay focused on the kingdom mission mandate and assignment the Lord has her own while he has gifted me and graced me. In this yes. Year. So I'll be like, oh, just do this. Boom, boom, boom. Then five seconds, five seconds. She had your girl hooked up. Five seconds. <laughs> you know, now I, I have another question, too. Uh -huh. You know, um, it might be cliche, but I love to dress men while we're kind of mm. talking about fashion a little bit. And I see couples and it has become popular with the PJs and the and the oh, like, yeah, you yeah. know, Christmas thing. Mm -hmm. Are you one? Do you think it's 
cheesy? Do you think it's too much mm -hmm. to match your man? Like, do you think it's childish? Do you think I it's do cute? Do you think it should stop at a certain age? Like, how no. do you feel about letting him or even you matching his fly? You want a man that match oh, your baby, fly? You gotta match my fly. I mean, you you can match my fly, but like, are are you into the coordinating cup? Because yeah. Doctor C said if she's talking about, she said mm -hmm. nope. Nope. You're not into I, that? She said she is not into that. Oh, my like, God. Are you into, like, matching colors or even outfits? I like, think that's so cute when you have on court. Even if y'all don't have, like, on the exact same outfit, if y'all are still coordinating, oh, that is, you, like, Dr. fire. C. You know? Yeah. To me, you take some nice pics. Like, that is just, like, a whole little thing. But, you know, Dr. C, I'm going to have a talk with you all the time. <laughs> She said no. <laughs> and she put nope in all caps. So that that's like a that's like that's a, a, hard a, no. a hard no. A hard no. Thank you, Dr. C. She said Apostle Tina got mad style even when she dressing down. <laughs> I got pajamas on today. Can you tell? <laughs> and she's still it's, cute. It's Valentine's Day. So I did it because it was Valentine's and Day. I'm, I'm going to try to match her fly. I was like, I don't got no cute pajamas <laughs> like that. Let me see what I can put on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, but she stay fly, baby. She get dressed to just sit in the house. I'd be like, girl, where is we going? Because if to you know couch. me for real, for real, baby, <laughs> listen, I'm the moon moon queen. I am the moon moon queen, and I'm finna walk around here like I'm finna fly away in my in my moo moos. I love them. Don't judge me. I'm gonna have to. She's. I think matching your man. Is bomb, not all of the time, but the similarity is all that. I need y'all to know he with me. Period. I need y'all to know he with I me. I don't need to be no question. Like, asked. not that I'm worried about you scooping my man, because trust me, I, I, I know how to keep him where he need to be. Period. Believe that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I need you to know from across the room, that's mine. That's mine right there. You see, yeah. you see this fedora? You see the matching one across the room? That's me. That's me. That's, that's me. me. So don't try to pull up because if you try to pull up, you're going to pull off when I pull up because I'm telling you right now, it's going to be some smoke in the city. And that ain't the that ain't the life you want to live. That's not that ain't the life. Where it's, this is the way I live. Like that ain't the life you want to live. So understand that if you even thinking about pulling up on me, if you even think about pulling up on my men's. That it's going to be something. It ain't going to be like, oh, I didn't know y'all was together. Oh, I didn't know you was with him. How could you not How know? How could you not? Act I got like purple you know. on. He got purple on. Act like and you know. Act like you know. <laughs> you act like you know. <laughs> you act like you know. So, okay, so Casilda said, okay, she open. Shanae said she loved the moo moos and sliding your feet. Let me see. I can't say <laughs> and sliding her feet across the floor when I had one on. It's another level of comfort. Baby, you don't even understand. You don't even understand the light, the freedom that a moo moo gives you in these streets. But you don't get y'all in some cute moo moo. I need okay. some cute moo moos. I got a few. They're not ugly. They're not but ugly, but I didn't tow them all. Yeah. I didn't tow all mine up. We, I look like a flying squirrel in some of mine because <laughs> they just got yanked on the door yeah. so many times. I didn't rip them up and I still be wearing them. <laughs> She said, I'm open to matching. I was saying nope to your question. Me and my man going to be wearing oh. matching onesies. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was about to say, I figured we probably missed. Okay, that's all. I was like, we got to have a talk. It, okay. So Bradford said it's a part of becoming a child again. He said they cute. I think he's saying yes to the matching too. It looked like we got a consensus on, uh, not the matching headband, Jasmine. Uh -huh. Look, I don't know what that, how you do that. Oh, the match of headbands with the moo moos? Is that what you're saying, Jasmine? I, I don't know. Please clarify, sis. Please. Please. There's a cleanup at aisle three. <laughs> <laughs> we don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> we don't understand that mine are ugly. Uh, Chandra. Hi, Chandra Hardy. She said, she said, y'all are cutting up tonight. Listen, this is gal's time. This, <laughs> this is girl's is time. This is, girl, this is Galentine's Day. So we're having a little fun. We're going to take communion. We're going to pop a little bubbly, a little fake bubbly, a yeah. little, little rose to celebrate um, our, our bridegroom, the, the, uh, our, yeah. the lover of our souls. Mm -hmm. And um, as we're waiting our personal bridegroom, as we're working for our grooms, rather, uh, yeah. we are just preparing our hearts and just having having a little fun, just, you know, just chatting it up. One, hi, Gwyneth Hobson. Hi. Is Apostle Tina a thug about her, man? She is. Don't get her started. Don't get her started. Okay. I'm going to answer. Let me answer. She is. Okay. 
<laughs> Listen, don't make me, don't <laughs> make me have that conversation with you. Preferably, we do not. Preferably, we don't have to have this conversation about my man. I don't want to pull up. I don't, I don't want to pull up. Do y'all see how she drags demons? <laughs> She don't play. Oh my gosh! She don't play. No, I don't play. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't play by my kids. I don't play by my money. I don't play by my <laughs> man. I don't play about my she Jesus. She does not play. Okay. Mm, she doesn't play. It's a no for me. So yeah, I, I get thug passion on you real quick. I, I get thug passion on you real quick. Now I'm not the pop off queen. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna do it with class. With very in tactfully. comparison to mm -hmm. who I once was, where I had no tag, no cool, no nothing. I would just pull up and pop you in the mouth. But you know, but these days, not, not apostle. Not these days. I got too much to lose. <laughs> she got her PR. Then, yes. You know, yeah. No. Like, All right. We're not gonna say this, but we can yeah. Say this. I, I'm, I'm a lot more tamed. I'm a lot more. I'm delivered. <laughs> I am healed. I'm made whole. But I'm still me at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I, I am careful. I am conscious. Mm -hmm. I am conscious. I'm careful. Um. And and I, I I'm all of that. So. Preferably, as I move ahead in the days to come, I ain't gonna have much to say because hopefully he gonna be pushing them back like the Heisman. Hopefully, listen, and I could just stand behind my man and be pretty, be like, <laughs> and yes. be pretty. Hi, Joe as 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 he's giving the whole Heisman, yes. um, the whole Heisman trophy stance mm -hmm. on on the on the Saints that want to pull up on them. So yeah, yes. if that don't work. <laughs> then I'm finna pull. I'm finna retch around. I'm finna look. I'm finna retch around. Like, hey, how you doing? What's your name? You want to get to know him? We'll get to know us. Get to know us. How you doing? Where where we going? We can ready to go. What we finna do? What we? What we, what we doing, what we babe? Talking about? What we, what we talking, talking about? about? What we talking about? How everybody doing? How you yeah. doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, preferably I ain't gotta. You know, we ain't gotta pull up on the saints like that we can just kind of sit back and chill you know chunk the deuces be pretty yeah, yeah. and um you know pray you know yeah. be pretty and pray be pretty and pray <laughs> at the end of the day yeah yeah hopefully he he he's locking that down hopefully yeah. he's, he's handling business i believe he will be he's handling business glory be to god i believe he will who's be. spinning the block jasmine i said i do not I love the matching PJs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, yes, the repertoire. It's be all of that matching PJs. We're going to match when we go out. You know, if we don't even match, we can coordinate at least. So if you right. wear black, you know, I wear black. If you wear blue, you know, I can wear a little blue compliment. Him. Right. Like, I want people to know, like, oh, they together. They together. together. For sure. They together. And he is. And we fly. He matched my fly. I match his fly. We fly. We fly. Glory be to God. We I think fly. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Maxwell said, do you have someone do your dirty work? I think, I don't know. She, I think I missed that, that comment or yes, where we were. Sierra, we were that about monochromatic. That. Monochromatic is like, oh, that is my jam. Okay. I love a solid look. Uh, all pink, all red, orange. Oh, that's what's up. I Jasmine love. said she loved the monochromatic look. Okay, so y'all gonna have to help. You're gonna have to help yes. me and my men. Yeah, oh, yeah. so I, we could <laughs> so I we so we could be, you know, monochromatic matching yes. and popping in these streets. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. In so Jesus name. I just wanna uh we've had a little fun just kind of with our little girl chat and talk, mm -hmm. but I want to make some decrees. <laughs> Um, and some declarations tonight, um, prepare for communion. And then if you got some bubbly yourself, I want to celebrate and, and love on Jesus. Um, as we've all kind of shared some of our wants, some of our wishes, some of our desires, some of our do's and some of our don'ts. So yes. if you came in late, you might want to go back and watch the replay yes. of or this. Or watch so the tonight. episode last week. Team or, oh, yeah. Last week. That was a good one. We'll yeah. We a lot of do's and don'ts. So, yes, yeah. yes, yes. We had a good time last week, which mm -hmm. leads up to uh, Valentine's Day here. So um, today, so we've had a good time, but I want to make um, some decrees and some declarations over over you guys today. So let's let's lift our hands as we receive right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you, oh God, for your daughters and even your sons that have joined this live here tonight that are watching, the wives that are in waiting, Father God. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for our lives. We thank you for the lives of the future spouses that you will be sending 
into our lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, we say thank you in advance for you have handpicked and hand selected that person that you have ordained for our lives to complement, to carry out the commission, mission, and mandate that has been not only placed upon our lives individually, but on the lives of our future spouses. Father God, may we compliment, may we answer the call, Father God, may we enter into the presence and the promises of God that you have preordained for our lives and for our future marriages in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just thank you this day. We thank you, Father, for what you were doing in our lives, what you were doing in our spouses' lives, Father God, and even for the communion, for the unity that you have placed, that you will designly and divinely appoint and connect to us at a desired time in Jesus' name. Father God, help us to stay in alignment with your due time and your due season for us to meet our mates in the name of Jesus. Father God, may we be position, posture, ready in the name of Jesus. So Father God, I declare now that you are opening your heart to receive the man of God and or the woman of God that God has divinely set before you in Jesus name. May you choose the man of God that matches your fly. May you choose the man of God that matches the mission that you have upon your life as a help me, as the women of God are called to serve to submit to the men of God and the mission that has been given to their man in Jesus name. Father God, equip the women, equip the women of God right now with every tool, with every strategy, Father God, even to impart into them, Father God, a receiving heart, a listening heart, Father God, a heart that is willing to receive a heart and a mind that's willing to submit and to serve and to carry out and to compliment whatever it is that is placed upon the man of God's Amen. life that is being sent into our lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you will quicken us when we meet and see the man of God that you have predestined for our lives. Father God, we pray that Father God, that you will expand, increase our prayer lives as we are called to be watchmen and the women on the wall, Father God, to continue to cover him and to help him with the areas in which he may struggle, whatever it is that he needs, whatever it is that you have divinely placed within us, Father God, to partner and to proceed in the promises of God. Father God, I declare this day that if there is anything that is hindering the meeting time, day, and place, and space. Ever has tried to delay your marriage and the time in which you are called to meet your kingdom man in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you will lose fire upon Satan. Father God, for every plan and scheme of the enemy that has been delay to detour and to stop and or hinder God's plan for the meeting time, place, and space for you to be partnered and to connect divinely with your spouse in Jesus name. Father God, we just say today that Father God, that the man of God, that he will be delivered, that he will be healed, that Father God, that even as we come, that we are putting ourselves in place, that we can be healed, delivered, Father Father God, and set free from the traumas of our past, from the pains of our past, that we don't carry, Father God, any baggage into our future marriages or into the life of the man or the woman of God that you have called us to submit, to serve, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, may we leave the baggage behind in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bind and rebuke every single demon, every Jezebelic spirit, Father God, every manipulative spirit, every controlling spirit. Father God, anything, Father, that would cause destruction to our marriage. Father God, help us, Father God, to remove old mindsets in the name of Jesus. Father God, cleanse, renew, and transform our minds, Father God, so that we can receive and be filled by the Holy Spirit. That, Father God, that you will help us to tap into our femininity. God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, for the feminine expression of our Father in heaven. Father 
Father God, may it exude from our mouths, our minds, our members. Father God, may we be soft and loving. Father God, may we allow ourselves, help us to temper our homes, Father God. Help us, oh God, to be a helpmate. Help us, oh God, to be a safe place. Help us, oh God, to be a listening ear. Father God, help us, Holy Spirit, to comfort the man of God, to even those things that you have called us to counsel and to deliver, and even the things that we rebuke, Father God, that the Lord shows us, Father God, may we pray and may we always posture ourselves to deliver the word of the Lord properly, to rebuke with love in the name of Jesus, to build our homes up, not to tear them down in the name of Jesus. Father God, bridle our mouths and bind our tongues from anything that will be disrespectful from anything, Father God, that will emasculate, demasculate the men of God. Father God, help us to build them, to encourage them, to edify them, to empower them, to exhort them. And the things that you have put in them, the things that you have given them, the visions that then the mandates that you have given them. Father God, help us this day. And even as we are waiting and readying ourselves to receive this man of God, Father God, may we be ready. I declare and decree this day that you shall be ready, that you will not be caught red handed, that whatever the enemy has told you to, uh, whatever the Lord has told you to let go, that you will not wait until there's a potential mate before you, but that you in a pure obedience will leave behind, will let go of those things that are not due, that are not good for your life. Those, those situations that may try to hang on and hold on and keep root or keep a door open that will allow the enemy to gain, remain, and keep access to your life. Father God, may you be the only one as our bridegrooms to have access to us in this time and this season of singleness. Father God, help us, Father God, to date you. Help us to learn to love ourselves. Father God, pour out your love in Jesus' name. Help us, Father God, to walk in our authority. Help us, Father God, to heal. Father God, help us, Father God, to move in hope and in faith and in love. Father God, we ask that you will expand and fill us with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That, Father God, may, that our character, Father God, that it will also, Father God, be of a sweet smelling scent and an aroma to the man of God that we will not have to flaunt our femininity, that we will not have to expose our treasures, that at the end of the day, that the man of God will see us beyond the surface, that he will see the substance and the core of who you have created us to be in the name of Jesus, not just as an helpmate, but the favor of God that comes with connecting us to our kingdom spouses in the name of Jesus. Father God, divinely appoint us and align us and assign us to your divine timetable and calendar. May we not be out of sync and out of season. I declare today in the name of Jesus that the men of God will be released and loosed this year in 2023 and into 2024 that the men of God, even those women that have been kept hidden in a season, that at their due and appointed time, that you will not only release them to their kingdom spouses, but you will reveal us to them those that are waiting and for their wife in waiting that father God that you will now expose, you will reveal, you will now connect us to our divine appointment and divine assignment that you have placed in and over our lives. Father God, may we not seek just to receive and get the ring. May we not just keep the wedding and the dress and the venues and all of those things and the forefront of our us to focus on the marriage mandate, the ministry of marriage, which is what we have been called, Father God, to move in the earth, to save souls, to set the captives free, whatever it is that you have appointed us as individuals, whatever it is that you have appointed us to support, to submit to, Father God, may we have a submitted heart, first to God and to the head of our homes, which is the man 
of, of, of God that has been called into our lives. May we give freely to him. May we serve him freely. May we serve his mission freely. Father God, we ask that you will impart your grace. We ask, Father God, that you will grace us for whatever the mantle that you have placed upon the man of God's life. That, Father God, that you will extend your grace and measures and even your favor upon the marriage in the name of Jesus that father God as we combine as we align as we commit as we consecrate before you together father God we ask father God that the windows of heaven will open up father God and you will pour out your abundant favor you'll pour out your abundant blessings upon the union upon the marriage and the destiny that you have given to us individually and collaboratively, Father. Father God, we pray that, Father God, that all that you have said we will see, not just on our journeys and our single seasons, but even as we connect to the man of God that you have called us to connect to. Father God, may we not lose our communion with you. May even the marriage, the friendship, the partnership, may we move in synchronicity as partners and not in gender roles, not in division, not in discord, not in competition with one another, Father God. But Father God, we ask that you will merge our missions, you will merge our mandates, that you will merge our hearts, that you will make us as one before God, that there is a three-strand cord that will never be broken in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Father God, make this union that you have already promised to us may it grow stronger father god we ask that you will loose this day this night the angels that are assigned to the marriage the angels that are assigned to this union father god to contend to defeat to demolish to dismantle to destroy all works of darkness that are contending with us meeting and Coming into this divine place in the appointed time. Father God, we pray that the angels that you will release and loose on our behalf, but Father God, that they will stand in the gap, that they will war for our marriage, that we will fight for our marriage, that we will not enter or take any council culture into our marriage, that Father God, that you will help us, Father God, to be patient. You will help us, Father God, to be peaceful, that the women of God will be able to temper their homes, that it will be a place of peace, that it will be a safe place, a place for the man of God to rest and be replenished, a place where the man of God can be renewed and restored, a place in which he will receive supernatural strength and not be drained and not be uh, that the man of God will run home. I declare in the name of Jesus that he will do nothing but think about his wife, that he will do nothing but think about falling into the arms of his wife to run home to find solace in the name of Jesus, to find peace in the name of Jesus. Father God, may we, Father God, shift the atmosphere for wherever we are and even wherever he is, whether he be with us or whether he be in distance, that Father God, for as there is no distance in the realm of the spirit, that as we pray, that we move mountains in prayer, that even if our husbands are in ministry or our husbands are traveling or even in bases and places that have kept them disconnected or in distance for a time and a season. Father God, may the presence of God fill their minds. May the presence of God fill their space and their atmosphere. Even as we pray in our prayer closets, even as we cover him in the midnight times and in times of warfare, Father God, may he feel our presence and the presence of God. May the dunamis power of God be released over them, to cover them, to keep them safe and shielded from the plans of the enemy. Even as our husbands move about to and fro and travel, go back and forth to work. 
Father God, in doing the ministry of God, whatever it is that they are assigned to, whatever it is that they are called to, that the wives are able to experience and also to share and to disseminate the power of God in distance in where, where he feels her presence, where he feels her presence and not just her presence, but the presence and the power of God with him wherever he goes, Father, in the name of Jesus. We declare this day that we will create a safe space. We declare this day that we will move in ultimate realms of respect, that Father God, that we will love him. Father God, that he is not just to provide and to give, that we will move in reciprocal relationship, that Father God, that we will have a heart of servitude to serve the son of God. We will have a heart of servitude in the name of Jesus, that Father God, we will temper our hearts and our minds, that we will not, Father God, use punishment in the areas of sex or any other area to punish the man of God, that Father God, we will open communication, that Father God, that we will allow ourselves, Father God, to commune, to talk, to be in good health, to be in good wealth, that Father God, we will always keep him first, that we will always place him as a priority in our lives, and even the man of God that is chosen for us, that he will make us a priority at all times, that Father God, as he serves, we serve, and no one gets the short end of the stick, oh God. Father God, we pray that even as we are raising children and building businesses and moving in ministry, that the power of the Holy Spirit will be made manifest in every Thing that we touch and everything and everything that we say and whatever God has commanded for the marriage, for the union, for the advancement of the kingdom of God. We declare that it is done. We declare that it is so. We declare it over our lives. We decree that that in which we have said and that in which we have prayed for today, that Father God, the prayers of the righteous will avail it much and no weapon formed against you, no weapon formed against your marriage, no weapon formed against your future, your children, your ministry, and whatever God has sent intended for you to build with this kingdom man and his kingdom mandate that nothing will be able to contend to stop the plans and the purposes of God for your marriage, for your future in the name of Jesus. We declare right now as we ask the Lord Jesus to cover us by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Loose the blood of Jesus over our marriage. Loose the blood of Jesus over our minds. Loose the blood oh God over our mouths. Temper and tame our tongues in the name of Jesus that we will not break down nor tear down our homes and the man of God that you have given or will give us in the days to come. Father God, we thank you, Father, for the wisdom and the revelation of your wisdom and the manifestation of your wisdom to build wealth and to build our relationship strong and mighty in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for what you have said, for what you have done, for what we will see, and for what is even yet to come. We declare this day that that in which we have asked, that that in which we have said, we stood on in agreement, Father God, that through grace by faith, that it shall manifest, that we shall see it in this day, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Stand on his word. Stand on his word. If he said your husband is coming, pray, cover, fast, meditate on his word and stand on the word. Pray into the prophecy. Wait until you see what you say. Don't let the devil cause your mind to stray this day in the name of Jesus. Declare this day who you are. Declare this day what he has said. Stand in agreement. Stand on the word. Believe by faith that it shall come to pass, that it is so, that it is done this day in the name of Jesus. I declare this day that by the end of this year, hey. we will see some kingdom marriages 
in the name of Jesus, we will the see the manifestation of, of what God has said that it will happen swiftly, it will happen quickly, it will happen expediently. He your your spouse will see you, he you will be shown to him, and he will move with intention, he will move with purpose, and he will say yes to God, and he will say yes to you, and you will agree by faith. For where there is two or three in agreement, he is yet there. In in the midst so we thank you father for being there with us we thank you for never leaving us and forsaking us we thank you God for all of the times even in this single season where we didn't think that we would see what you said father God we thank you for carrying us anyway anyhow we thank you God for being our protector anyway and anyhow we thank you God for being our provider as our bridegroom as we are the brides of Christ waiting on the coming of you. Father God, we thank you, Father, for what you have done in our single seasons to keep us in our right minds, to make sure we had what we needed, to keep us safe from the wiles of the enemy. Father God, for you are our first love. You are our first protector. You have been our first provider. Father God, so we thank you that even as we wait for the men of God to arise and to be found and crowned by our kings, Father, we thank you king of glory we thank you our mighty king we thank you father for who you are the i am that i am we thank you for what you have been to us in this single season we thank you for your provision we thank you for your protection we thank you for your ever abundant love that you have poured out to us Father God, we thank you, Father, for even before you release us to the man of God, we thank you for being the man of God in our lives. We thank you and we will not stray away in the name of Jesus from who you are and who you said we are. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We declare it this day. We agree and we decree that it is so. It is established this day in the mighty name of Jesus. So grab your communion. Grab your communion. Let's take communion. Great. Take it. Get your drink juice. Get your water. Whatever it is that you have. And we're going to commune as we have prayed and sat at the feet of the Father. Prepare your hearts before you enter into communion right now. Prepare your hearts to repent. If you are one that has placed marriage as an idol in your life, if you have placed the and, and, uh, and made marriage an idol, repent now and renounce of that idolatry right now in the name of Jesus. If you are one that has been impatient, blasphemed, or, 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 or said some mean things to God because what he promised hasn't yet come to pass, whatever it is that you sense or see in the spirit as we prepare for communion, because it is dangerous to enter into a place and a state of communion without walking in repentance repentance I'm over here sweating uh, without walking in repentance and so you must repent whatever comes to your heart right now I'm going to give you an opportunity to repent and ask for God's forgiveness right now before you enter into communion. So whatever you heard or whatever you're hearing right now before the father, he may be reminding you of a tie of a soul tie or someone you've emotionally connected you to some man that you was waiting on to say yes to you that has yet to say yes. That's playing with you. That's telling you he's still waiting. He's still waiting. He's still waiting. He don't know what's being said. He don't know if this is the word of the Lord or or whatever or keeping you in a holding pattern whatever it is if God said go I say go in Jesus name if you stay too long let it go in Jesus name don't let these men be a placeholder in your lives know that God is with you that God loves you and that when it's time he will release and reveal who he has for you and ask him what you are to do now as you are in your single season so all of you by now prayerfully you have placed and put your, your heart in a posture of repentance and you have renounced of these things that you heard the Holy Spirit say at, around, or about marriage, or it could be something totally unrelated. It could be something even about self-love. It could be something about maybe poor body image. It could be maybe hopelessness. It could be, um, it could be, 
um, kind of being indifferent, being indifferent, meaning where you've given up on the promise and you said to God, it doesn't matter if I get married. I don't care whether I get married or not. Right. That's indifference. So you got to stand solid, 10 toes down, never folding on what you want, what you desire, what he said. And you got to say, God, I believe you. God, I walk in faith. God, I'm in agreement with you. No matter what I see that I'm not going to falter. I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to fall through, but I'm going to stand 10 toes down and I ain't going to fall. I tell y'all for those that know, for those that don't know, I know baby, baby, that at the end of the day, I ain't folding on nothing and no one unless I'm folding laundry or lawn chairs. And I can't see no laundry nowhere around me right now. And I don't see no lawn chairs. So I'm standing 10 toes down for the father. I'm standing toes in. I'm all in. I ain't halfway in and halfway out and I ain't straddling the fence. So you got to make a decision no, more, no matter what you see, no matter how long you got to wait, that you will serve him with your whole heart. You will serve him not with an attitude that you will serve him even if it comes today or it toils and tarries and you got to wait. No matter what, that it will be worth the wait. And as you are waiting Ask the Lord, what is it that you would have me to do right now in this season? What is it that you need from me right now in this season? And God will show you, listen, look, watch, pray, and obey. Glory be to God. So Father God, as we prepare right now for communion with you, as we have communed with our sisters tonight, Father God, we yoke ourselves together in faith with the kingdom of heaven, Father God. And as we today in remembrance of you, Father God, we remember the day for you have, you were on the cross, Father God, for your body that was broken, Father God, for this, for this bread is in resemblance of the body that was bruised, that was broken, that was marred, that was spit upon on the cross in the name of Jesus. Father God, we align our minds and we stand in covenant with you. We continue in our covenant with you until we reach and we meet our spouses and we engage and commune in covenant with our future spouses. In this day, we dedicate and we recommit our minds, our members, and our ministries of our lives to you. And Father God, we thank you for the covenant that you made for us on the cross. And we remember this day, the sacrifice that was made. We remember this day, Father God, for you were bruised and broken for our sins, for our iniquities, for our transgressions and our trespasses this day. Father, we ask that you forgive us today, Father. Forgive us, forgive me. Forgive the men and women of God in communion with us today. Forgive not only us, but the sins and the iniquities, the transgressions and the trespasses of our families and forefathers all the way back to Adam and Eve. Father God, cleanse and filter through to our bloodlines. We stand as we intercede in the gap for the sins of our families in Jesus name. And we today, we say thank you, Father, for what was done on the cross, Father God. And as we bring Break and eat together in remembrance of you. We break bread together and we eat right now in Jesus' name. Father God, I say thank you, Father, for the 39 stripes that was taken for our healing. We thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus that was shed for us by the lamb that was slain for us, Father God, for the mighty man of God, the mighty lamb of God. Father, we thank you, Father, for Isaiah 53 and 5, for by his stripes we are healed in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we thank you for the blood. We thank you for the covenant. We thank you for the redeeming power of the blood. We thank you for your presence in the blood. We thank you that the blood sustains and maintains. We thank you that the blood redeems and renews. We thank you that the blood restores us back to God. We thank you, Father, for the power of the blood that is given to us this day. So, Father God, we believe we receive by faith as we take in communion today. Father God, we take this blood in remembrance of you. Now you may not only drink all of it, but you have eaten by the blood and by the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, you may now drink <laughs> in the name of Jesus. 
Father God, we thank you. Thank we you. thank you for the communion. We thank you for the commitment, commitment that we have made to you, to our bridegroom as the bride of Christ. Father God, we thank you for the covenant and the relationship you've given. Now we're going to pop our bottle, our Welsh's. Welsh's. <laughs> Welsh's. Now it's time to celebrate. Celebrate. Get your bubbly. Yes, it's Valentine's Day. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We'll take our time. Just give, just take some time right now to love on God, to just love on, on him, love on him, love on him now. Father, we thank you, Father. We love you, God. Father God, this Valentine's Day, it has been an honor and a pleasure to be in your presence. It has been an honor and a pleasure to love, to serve, and to be served. What a mighty God we serve. Father God, we thank you for the blessings, the healing. We thank you, Father, for your provision. We thank Thank you for your ever abounding love. Father God, we thank you for the agape love, the unconditional love that you have first shown to us. And even as we receive the men of God that you have called us to, that they will also carry the characteristics of the agape unconditional love that you have given him to love the church and to love us as our, as their wives in Jesus name. Father God, may their character proceed them in Christ. Father God, may we know them by their fruit in the name of Jesus for the man of God that will be released to us in 2023 for the man of God that will be released to us in whatever day and time and season that you have called us to receive him father God in advance we say thank you in advance we love you in advance we stand in agreement with what you have said what you have already done what you have released to us in the realm of the spirit and we just continue you, Father God, to walk and to obey in the word of God. So even as Satan is plotting our demise, as Satan has plotted our destruction, we know that nothing will hurt or harm us in the name of Jesus. We know that the enemy will not prevail, that the gates of hell will not prevail against us in the name of Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Trying not to, uh, you, well, you can step out. You need yeah, to step off for a second. Saints, uh, see me struggling. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just want to encourage you today as we prepare to close out today um, to be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. I know some of us have been waiting long time. Me wait long time. Me wait long time. But it is your time and it is your turn. It is your time and it is your turn. So keep just be encouraged as you continue to wait on whatever God has said to, to go forth in Jesus name, be encouraged for whatever God is doing. And in the meantime, in the meantime, continue to serve God, continue. There's plenty to do in this single season. There is plenty to do while you are working and waiting. So Nicole says she's going to act like her juice is bubbly. <laughs> She says she's going to celebrate with us and act like her juice is bubbly. Yes, come through, come through for those of, of y'all that are going sip, to sip our rosé with us tonight. In the name of Jesus, thank you all for joining and partnering with us on today's Galentine's. I know sometimes this day can kind of sometimes get you down. You see all the married couples and all of the fiancés and all of the engagements, and you're like, Lord, one more year, one more Valentine's. Valentine's Day. I actually didn't feel that way this year, but I haven't felt that way in years, to be honest. Um, Valentine's Day, actually, I, I'm a hopeless romantic and I love love. And so um, I'm always very, very, very happy for others. I'm always very, very, very happy for others. So um, it's been years since I've, I've felt like funny or weird or sad, really. Um, I've always been uh, very encouraging and hopeful. Um, and it's always been encouraging, actually, to see others um, receive their promises. So um, I, I just will continue to do that until the day that mine manifests. And when that day comes, we're going to celebrate, 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 celebrate. 
I'm going to toast with my daughter. We're going to toast. So you guys lift your glasses on this day. Lift your glasses for whatever you're believing God for and speak to him. Declare it over your life. I'm going to toast with my daughter right now. I thank you, daughter, for your support, for your love, for your help, for your encouraging, for your exhortation and for all that you are to me. I love you. 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 So if we locked in, then switching up. Ain't no switching up. up. Come on. I I love all of you, the freedom fighters and all of you in the flawed and free community that show up, that support, that sow into this ministry with your time, with your treasures, with your gifts and with the love that you show us. Mm -hmm. So toast to y'all. Toast to the freedom fighters out there. (laughs) Cling, 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 cling. (laughs) Pretend like y'all clinging. Cling, cling, cling. cling Sierra. Yeah. Oh, we got to tick. We got to do that for TikTok. Hello, TikTok. <laughs> so cling, 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 cling. Um, and so to my team, I want to personally acknowledge you guys, um, all of you that are out there that have partnered with us, that have helped us, that have sown into us and been a part of our journeys. Glory be to God. Blessings, Dr. Wilson. Blessings, Dr. Wilson. Hello. God bless you. Um, and so for all of you that have stuck it out, hung it out with us and stuck it through. God bless you. I love you all as well. Yeah. I love you all as well. So we going <laughs> we going we going to sip a little bit here. Y'all it's good too. It's some Welsh's again, not alcoholic saints. Mm. Somebody said, "Hi Miss Tina, are you for Jesus?" Sometimes I get scared when watching your videos. Warrior for Jesus, I am absolutely for Jesus. And I'm a warrior for God. I am a warrior for God. And so if you get scared when you're watching my videos, um, I would consider deliverance. I would consider deliverance um, and, and additional prayer. And she said, I mean, no harm. I actually didn't take it um, in a harmful way. I believe you were you were um, you were in Siri. I mean, you weren't being funny when you said that you get scared when watching my video. So um, I would definitely say that it's the authority of Christ Jesus And so um, there may be demonic spirits that when they see me or they hear me, it's it's the authority of Christ. It's not me, um, but it's the authority of Christ Jesus. And I am for Jesus 110%. I follow Jesus. I'm a follower of Christ. It's okay. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, But I would advise um, that you will pray. And um, if the Lord leads you here for deliverance, I would love to help you. I would love to pray and partner with you um, in receiving deliverance in Jesus name. So um, as he leads you, as as he leads you, please, please, please reach out to um, our community online. You can click the link in my bio and you can find us there. And if you're seeking or desiring deliverance, we would love to partner with you and help you with that. Deliverance is our portion. Yes, yes, yes. Ten toes down. Come on, y'all know how we get it here in these streets. Y'all, y'all know how I move. Y'all know how I move. Y'all know what it is in Jesus' name. If you want to join our community, um, you can join um, our app here. We have the instructions over on YouTube. For those that are watching YouTube, you can follow those instructions. It's free. Um, You can go to the Apple or the Android store. Click the link in the bio. Even if you're watching from TikTok um, and or Facebook, you can go to the link and you can follow those instructions with how to become a part of our community. And so we serve our community there. You can put your prayer request there. Um, We will partner in prayer. Our ministry team comes together in prayer for those individual prayer requests. So if you're a person that needs assistance, prayer support, um, you can go to our free app and become a part of our community. And we also help you with deliverance and deliverance questions, anything that you have there in our community. And so this community is not on social media. So there are people who are not on social 
social media. So if you're a person that doesn't have social media or not on much, this is probably the best thing for you because you can download the app on your phone and you can stay connected. We want to stay connected to our community, not just show up on lives or on Facebook or YouTube. We really want to help you to be disciplined, to be discipled and to receive deliverance so that you can dispossess the enemy and take dominion over the areas of your life that the enemy has taken from you. And so I want you to get your territory back. I want you to get your stuff back for, for we take it back by force. We take it back. We take it back by force. Okay. So yes, it is a war. It is a war in heaven. And so uh, warrior for Jesus, you've been praying and fasting for two months. Please make sure you download um, our app. And I would love to partner with you in prayer um, to help you with deliverance as you are led. Glory be to God. So God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you for coming. We've had a good time tonight. I'm going to finish sipping my Welch's. Yes. <laughs> it's good, y'all. I'm not sure if y'all ever had this sparkling rosé by Welch's, but it's pretty tasty. It's good. It's good. It's pretty good. It tastes like juice. A it tastes like juice. A bubbly juice. With some bubbles in it. It's a bubbly juice, but it's good. It's pretty good. It is good. Good night, Danielle. Good night. Um, it was a joy always. Myasia, Shane, thank you for joining. Jasmine, Floyd, God bless you. When you coming to see me, baby? When 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 you yes. come? When you coming? We waiting on you. We waiting on you, Jasmine. Come on, let your girl. Come on, let yes. your girl. Yes. <laughs> we excited to see you. We're excited. We're excited. Yes. Um. Purple Rain, when am I on here? I'm on here every Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesdays, I do Tuesday night prayers at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on Thursdays, I'm here at 8 p.m. Every Tuesday and Thursday. So click the notifications on your um, on my page, on my um, profile, and it'll tell you when I'm live. Thank you, Purple Rain. Yes, yes, yes. And as uh, Apostle was praying and making those de declarations, I just kept feeling in my spirit to not grow weary in your well doing. Yes. So I just want to share that with y'all, like, and with myself too now. Because I told Apostle that this year, we stand with our chest. In Jesus' name. We're going to say that this our year. In Jesus' With our chest. Now, so we can't be over here like this. I say it with your chest. I say it with all of your chest. So I'm going to say it with my chest that this is my year. And I just want to encourage y'all to not grow weary in your will doing. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Oh, your birthday is May 27th. God bless you. Okay. I asked him to make it happen for the 30th of May. Uh, oh, May 27th. Oh, for your 30th birthday. Okay. 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 We can talk offline. I ain't going to put all your business yeah. out in the street, but... <laughs> I was just telling you that we're excited. We're excited to see you um, when you get in these streets, when you get close, close this way. Yes. We're excited. Hi, Gwyneth. I love seeing you, Gwyneth. Um, thank you so much for joining and for partnering with us here. I told you when we have our next, um, when we have our next event here in Dallas, um, I would love for you to come. I want to hug on your neck. I want to hug on your neck. So I know that for sure. I didn't get married till I was 45. Come on, come on, come on. It's, it's, it's my portion. That's my portion. <laughs> That's my portion. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Um, Jasmine. So I believe he showed you June. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll we'll definitely, yeah, we'll be praying. We'll be praying into that. She said the Lord is heating things up in 2023. And he is. Yes, yes, yes. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. Come on, flame it up. Flame it up, Jesus. Flame it up, Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire. Fire the Holy Fire. Ghost. Fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gwyneth, I thought you were here in Dallas. Gwyneth, you're not here with us? She I thought she in testimony Thursday. Yeah, she said she want to be in here with us. I don't know. Hmm. Hopefully. I thought she was already in this area. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's see what she says. Oh, you're in San Antonio. That's okay. Cause you're not that far. You're not that far. So we'll just keep you posted. Um, our next local event, we'll keep you posted so you can slide through. Pull yeah. Up on us. So you can pull up on us. So you can spin the block. Yeah. Pull up on me. 
spin the block on us. Yeah, he's still writing love stories in Jesus' name. Who said that? Jasmine. Oh, okay. Okay. She said, I will try and make it. Okay. Okay. If you can't, that's okay. We'll have other things. We'll have mm -hmm. other things, but preferably, I will try and make it. But preferably, I'll be able to do that. Nicole said, all of that. Yes. So yes. said, tonight was so fun and encouraging. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed your Valentine's yeah. with us tonight. I wish I could hug you. I know. <laughs> we got to see you, Tanisha. Yes. We got to see you. Uh-oh, somebody got a love story? Was released once I received the... Come on! Come on, Jasmine! Period. Come on! It's giving... Do we need a new TN testimony for the love story? Okay. Because I'm here for it. We love Let it. me know. Do we need to put you on the docket? We love that. Yeah. Let's go and put you in the rotation. She said, get them hands laid on me in person. Yes. I will lay hands on you. I will lay the last meet and greet we had. We had people everywhere on the floor. <laughs> we had people on the floor. So we better make sure we got enough, enough catchers. Yes. Enough catchers. Um, Tanisha, she said, yes, let's get together. Okay, yeah, it's coming. It's coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May God keep you. We're going to close out. And say goodbye to our friends. We pray you enjoy Galentine's with us tonight. Yes. And um, we'll see you Thursday. Tell a friend. Tag right a friend. A tell a friend. For this for this Thursday, we have a guest this week. Yeah, it's Gwyneth. Uh, it's Gwyneth? Yeah. It's oh, that's what she said Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, well, that's amazing. That's even better. Yeah. That's even better. So I can't wait to see you, sis. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, in the name of Jesus. So yeah, glory be to God. All right, so we'll see you Thursday. So y'all tag a friend, tell a friend, send them in. Tag a friend, tell a friend, send them in so that we can come together and um, give some testimony, share the goodness of God and share the gospel of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. We overcome Amen. by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony in Revelations 12 and 11. And so our testimony will help so many not only see Christ, come to Christ, be saved and all of that. So our testimony is very important. It is not just for you to keep to yourself. It is to encourage and to exhort and to edify the body and so much more. Um, as we are contending with the kingdom of darkness and moving and advancing the kingdom. And so this is a part of our evangelism. This is how we expose the enemy. This is how we expose him and show him the power of God. And we make an open show of the enemy, not only through demonstration, but through testimony. And so testimony is very important. The Lord gave me 10 testimony some time ago. Um, about tea and testimony. So, um, we're going to continue. We might be changing some of the platform with how tea and testimony is going, how that goes, but, um, as the Lord leads us, but tea and testimony preferably is here to stay, um, because we want to always share, um, what God is doing and, and expose the enemy. That's what we're here for, to expose mm -hmm. him and, um, to share the goodness of God. She said, yes, the enemy is mad. Oh, yeah, well, we know what to do with that. Put some fire on his tail. Mm -hmm. When he come for you, you come for him. When he mm -hmm. come for you, you come for him. That's how you do that. So, yeah, and you don't stop until you don't see him no more. Mm -hmm. You don't stop until you don't see him no more. So, trust me, he, you rebuke, resist the enemy, he must flee. He must flee. He has no choice because he cannot stand against the power of God. So God bless, God bless. I said this before. I hate to leave y'all. I do. I enjoy this time with you guys. Um, but I must go. I must go and um, go ahead and continue with my evening. But I pray that you guys have enjoyed Valentine's with us as we have enjoyed you. And good night.